Just when the gaming world was focused on Microsoft's possible acquisition of Warner Brothers' own studios, in comes Sony, making some major moves in the gaming world right before next gen. Can they be stopped? Let's get into it. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another episode of The Medicine. Do me a huge favor before we get into this one. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up. Y'all know the deal. Y'all know the reason. And y'all know the slogan. I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. Golly. Golly. Golly, <laughs> man, Sony, I don't, it's like, I, I can't, I don't know what's up with these, these cats, man. It's like these dudes be sitting back in the cut somewhere with a basket full of counters to whatever good Microsoft is doing. Like they be like, yo, if these mugs is going drop a game, we gonna drop a game. Yo, if these mugs is going drops, you know, a sizzle reel of, of, of some games coming, we gonna do that. If they gonna talk about a price, we gonna drop this. If they gonna make a business acquisition, we gonna do this. If they gonna sell hot dogs, we got ham sandwiches. I, I don't, man, I don't know. But Sony ain't playing as far as having that counter roundhouse for anything Microsoft wanna do. As far as mind sharing, as far as people gazing and focusing on them. They don't want and when I say they, I mean Sony. They don't want any positive attention on Microsoft at all. Now, what am I talking about? Again, recently, everybody's been talking about this potential purchase of WB Studios that's being sold by AT&T, uh, Warner Brothers Studios, that is gaming studios, and that ever since Microsoft has been known to be in the running, that's all everybody was talking about. That is until this boom goes to dynamite <laughs> breaking news at the time sony buys 250 million dollar stake in fortnite creator epic games all right and to get more into the information and this is from business wire um they talk about the deal worth 250 million dollars to acquire a minority interest Epic through a wholly owned subsidiary of Sony. The investment cements already cl a close relationship between the two companies and reinforces the shared mission to advance the state of art and technology, entertainment, and socially connected online services. So the investment allows Sony and Epic to aim uh, to broaden their collaboration across Sony's leading portfolio of entertainment assets and technology. Now, one of the biggest things that they were talking about is this uh, the Fortnite experience? You know what I'm saying? Where they had uh, um, Travis Baker, I believe that's his name. Is I'm sorry if I don't know the young gentleman. You know what I mean? But uh, <laughs> you're telling my age by that, I know. Uh, but when he had that, when he had that um, concert on Epic, I mean on, on Fortnite, that was a big deal, right? And Sony took note. Sony definitely wanted to get more of that business to be extrapolated and added to their products and services, I believe, most notably because it's on a gaming platform for their PlayStation 5, their upcoming PlayStation 5, and more. And then on top of that, Epic premiered the new Unreal Engine 5 using the PlayStation 5. Now, again, not saying that Unreal can't be capable of uh, running on the Xbox. We've already been there and talked about that however because of this minority stake you best believe that tim sweeney and epic are going to do some things some serious things in favor of sony they've already shown how they favor their business partners in in, in, in competing areas as it relates to cloud gaming you know what i'm saying they partner with gfn and or you know there's some type of hand-holding going there to where they're trying to help people as they sign them on to the epic game uh um licensing of the uh of the engine of the unreal four and five engine they're trying to ex extrapolate that to people signing up for gfn so no telling what they're going to do now that they have sony as business partners and that's a big deal because entities like stadia 
ain't seeing Fortnite no time soon, we believe, because of those type of business ties. So no telling what's gonna be left out from the Xbox side as it relates to the Unreal Engine, whether it's capable on the box or not. Tim Sweeney, AKA Tim Swindle, be doing the damn business for his coin, okay? So believe you me, this, this, is, this is big. This is big on that front. However, that's not it. That is not it. Now, they're even in the running against mega, mega, mega juggernauts, say that fast five times, mega juggernauts like Tencent and talks against uh, trying to acquire uh, gaming firm Liao. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with them, they are the parent company of the critically acclaimed and highly praised Warframe free to play games it is a great game excellent game I, i've played it since launch and, and it's really grown since then with that said they're in the runnings to try to acquire them now it sounds like right now that tencent is in the lead but this just shows you like if tencent didn't show up here it just shows you how big sony is trying to go can you imagine if sony had warframe under their helm you know what I'm saying? Like Sony's trying to make some big moves, okay? And that's not it, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Again, even though they may not be in the lead running right now, it just tells you where they're headed before next gen, that's not it. Last but not least, new PlayStation 5 Sony patent allows for frictionless game sharing with instant play, okay? Sony's latest patent should enable save state sharing on the PlayStation 5, letting gamers create and share their own customized slices of gameplay. Now, what is that? For those of you that may not be familiar with that babble, that's simply saying that Sony is looking on the cloud network space, that they're trying to do something similar to state share, a feature that was being lauded and being promoted by Stadia. Now it's already available, you know what I'm saying? And Stadia's kind of like in a pseudo early access, still R&D really, you know, state. They have their followers, they have, um, you know, the founders and so forth and the tech enthusiasts. And it's reasonable to believe that they're probably around 1 million users, maybe even close to two and all other stuff. Numbers point in that direction. However, they got a long way to go before they're on a competitive streak or at a level of an Xbox or Sony, you know what I'm saying? And they're not really trying to get there yet. Jack Pucer, a VP there had said, this is the early access stage, the first 12 months, you know what I'm saying? So they're just, they're taking, you know, slow steps right now to build, to get the platform to a certain level. And then you'll see them hit the, the stage with, with something grand as far as they're concerned. With that being said, Sony's like, oh, hey, 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 you're not gonna catch us sleeping. Whether you're early access or in DD and R, B, B, and C, we, we don't care. We are going to come out here now and we're going to try to take what we can that you're doing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So they're already working on their version of state share and they're patenting some version of that. And that's big because a lot of people look at what Sony's doing with Microsoft and they're like, yeah, Sony needs Microsoft and all of it. And it sounds that. Sony don't, this is why they're hammering Microsoft so bad. Microsoft wanted to lay down the weapons and hold hands and sing Kumbaya with Sony as soon as they made their announcement that they were using Azure to help power their cloud service in the future. Sony's like, no, no. We are partnering with Azure and Microsoft. We don't give two rat monkeys, you know what, about Xbox. We still hate you guys, we hate your guts. It's a strategic partnership with your parent company and we're partnering with everybody and we're taking the cloud gaming seriously even though we might be a few steps behind everybody else. We're going to get there and we're going to do it our way. You know what I'm saying? So very interesting chain of events. It just shows you one that Sony is not to be reckoned with as far as them trying to make some major moves. 
And this is big because they are the market share leader as far as it comes to in-home console gaming right now. So it, it's worthy to take note, even though they may not have the war chest of a Microsoft, they're making some serious strategic moves. And secondly, it shows that they are not going to operate limited and how they see their business going forward. We talk about how Microsoft is looking at Amazon and all these other people as their, their um, competitors and they're looking past Sony. Sony, hey, Sony's like, y'all can look past us all we want. We're making some moves. And making moves with Epic. You know what I'm saying? And what was what was it that they said? And the moves that they made with Epic, together we strive to build an even a more open and accessible digital ecosystem for all consumers and content creators alike. What'd that sound like? And then now you got this frictionless game. You hear MM2K say this all the time. Now some of these, some of these idiot heard cast, they laugh at that. Ho, ho, ho. What does that mean? It means you're dumb and you don't know what the hell you're talking about. But come here, baby, if you want to be in the know. Frictionless gaming, like I've always been saying, is going to be a major part of gaming. And it's in relation to cloud gaming. So, again, Sony's making big moves. Do not sleep on these cats. They may not have the war chest, but they're they're applying their war chest. Well, they may not have the war chest of a Microsoft, rather, but they're applying whatever they have in their war chest surgically like a scalpel and they're making some big time moves and the moves they're making are that big to where nobody ain't nobody talking about um microsoft acquiring wb anymore they ain't even talking about it so with that said that's it from your boy mm2k like always i know that was me and my babble but who cares what i think let me know what you think in the comment section below and if you did like what i had to say check out the links below to follow me those links will lead you to the broadband bullies, PNTS Network, Hard Knock Digital Culture, and yes, the Stadia Dosage. And with that said, you all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.